guys, what is up? It's Alan here, and we're playing Assassin's Creed 2. Welcome back to my walkthrough. So we have to tail this guy, um... Hang on. If I can stay my blade long enough to follow him, he'll lead me to his Templar brothers. I'll have more names for my least. So we have to tail Jacopo, or Jacopo, uh, to the meeting uh, where he'll lead us to the fellow Templars and we'll find out who else is in this conspiracy and we'll get some new targets for our list as well because um, after Jacopo we've run out of targets so uh, this mission isn't too difficult you just have to be a bit stealthy so he doesn't see you I do uh, really well up until a bit where um, as I'm running on the rooftop I accidentally hit the wrong button and I end up, end up tackling Jacopo <laughs> which is like not what you want to do but um other than that like it goes What's really well and late they haven't seen me this much i know and i get it perfect anyway so it's all good um so I, I love this mission though because we end up having to go and uh crash the meeting and it just shows Ezio at his best you know and he, we actually get to see Ezio and rodrigo borgia come face to face for the first time in this game and he's of course the main enemy so it's it's good to get a look at your nemesis for the whole uh, first time because it, it really sets the scene, you know, the whole dialogue and stuff. It's brilliant. Okay, so uh, the, I make the mistake shortly up here, I think it is. But other than that, it goes really well. And then um, I edited out the... I didn't edit out the mistake. I just edited out the big long waiting bit and then the checkpoint. So... It continues on exactly from where I was when I made the mistake just after, so it looks pretty good. But um, I think it's just up here or so. Thought this scene looks pretty good when you're just walking on the rooftop and he's on the ground. This looks really cool the way you'd what follow him. Like the others planning, Jacobo? Step for step. Yeah, um, we're about to find out, and you're about to find out, Ezio, that uh, this goes a lot deeper than just the plotting of your father's murder, and your brother's as well. This is when shit gets real. <laughs> I can't really get away with saying that, but anyway. It's lucky that the Tronos killed them one shot there, but uh, in, an, in a later video that I did, it took like two or three shots to kill them, which it's kind of weird that the way they do that. Tron knives have gotten like really bad from like in the first game they killed one shot, like the regular guards and the arches, but in this it takes two shots to kill most of them, which, which is kind of annoying because you can't stealth kill with them then. So, um, he's he's found the body because the arches slid off the roof and he's going back to investigate and then he'll turn around again and start ba going back again so yeah all right so as i'm jumping across here i think um yeah uh, across here i screw up and actually tackle them which is like the worst thing you can do because you don't want them to detect you but by tackling him he's obviously going to detect you and i wasn't trying to do it i was trying to jump over here and i hit b to catch onto the ledge so I thought I f fell off you, you know, and uh, I tackled them. But uh, I edited it back, so I'm exactly where I would have been had I made that jump. So it's all good. We didn't lose any data, and you don't have to watch me redo a whole, like, checkpoint. So um, from here, it's pretty easy. Like, I mean, in my, the last time I did this walkthrough, um, I struggled at this bit for ages because I'd, um, I was getting caught. The thing you have to realize is you really need your notor you need to be like incognito have no notoriety um otherwise when you're like running down by the guards down here um to try and get up into the crash the meeting you're gonna get caught like no matter even how little the next, yeah. I've got Templars there as well if you only have a little bit of uh, notoriety uh, no matter how little it is if there is a bit of notoriety you will get caught um so it's just best to be incognito for this bit and but then you'll like you know you'll get it perfect or near enough anyway 
yeah, it wasn't clever of me going right above him. Like he'd he'd obviously just see me, but wasn't thinking. All right, uh, I think it's I can go now. It's just the uh, climbing mechanics are kind of annoying me. But there we go. Uh, I think I yeah I made it now. You just follow him up here, and you can do a leap of faith then into the haystack without getting caught. And you just wait there for them to pass by, as I do, and then you just run down after them. But obviously not. I also actually use the thieves here to uh, get lure the guards away as well. Helps a little bit. But you wait for all them guys to go down because uh, they'll probably catch you even if you are incognito. So there we go. All yours. Have fun. You didn't actually. I, did, I don't think I actually needed to do that, but um, they stop like further down, so it's just easier. How many men are responsible for my father's death? <laughs> I'm sorry, Maestro. I did all I could. But the assassin proved too strong. Clearly. As the others would be here with you. To say nothing of the fact that Firenze remains in Medici hands. It's Francesco's fault. His impatience made him reckless. I, I tried to be the voice of reason. More like the voice of cowardice. You're one to talk, Signor Barbarigo. And you sent us quality weapons instead of this garbage you Venetians call armament. We put our faith in your family and you repay us with inaction and incompetence? Then when asked to account for your failures, you make excuses and insult us? How do you expect me to respond? I don't know. It's all right. I do. Uh, uh, no. Please, don't. <laughs> Please don't what? I can fix this. <laughs> Spare me. No. What a mess. So sorry to have claimed your prize, assassin. Did you honestly think I wouldn't expect you to follow? That I didn't plan for it? We've been at this a lot longer than you. Kill him. I know you're only doing as you're told. So if you release me, I will spare your lives. Ha! Listen! Ah! Yeah, well, you should have listened to me, lads. Well, this is a lot of guards. I'm gonna need to disarm a couple of them. Preferably a spear or a wielding guy, because I can take out the other guy with that. Come on, let's go, buddy. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> I can't see how Jacopo is still alive though. He got uh, stabbed through the chest and then he got stabbed through the neck. I mean, you'd think that would have killed him, but he's still alive waiting for you to finish him off with. Oh yes, I got me an axe now. No, you're not getting away. Oh, maybe I uh, screw that. Vai amico, libero da fardelli e paure, requiesca di pace. Well, we got what we came for anyway, so so that's good, and that's a. Uh, that mission complete.
very happy with how that went. Uh, it's pretty decent. Minor little glitch up when I screwed up, but uh, other than that, can't complain, you know. Making good progress with this walkthrough as well. It's good fun to play. And I also recently figured out how to um, do live comms without uh, the audio hiss. So after part like 15 of this walkthrough, I'll be able to do the live comms again. So that's pretty fun. So I'll be able to even upload a lot quicker because I won't have to go back and uh, add commentaries after I've recorded. So I'm um, pretty happy with that too. Alright, so um, we don't have time for another mission, I don't think. We just... The Pazzi are dead. Every one of them. I must admit, I've never before believed I could desire the death of others so badly. Nor I. Ezio, thank you for the role you've played in keeping this dream of mine alive a little longer. L'onore è mio, signore. What will you do now, figliolo? There are still others I must hunt, signore. They are already digging their claws into the heart of Venezia. No. La bella Venezia. Then that is where your journey must take you, Ezio. Before you leave us, I have something for you. A gift. This cape identifies you as a friend of the Medici. As long as you wear it, the city guards will be more tolerant of your actions. But be warned, it will not grant you immunity from the law. Thank you for this gift, Lorenzo. Okay, so guys, that's all we have time for. I hope you liked the video, and I'll talk to you guys later. Happy gaming.